everyone. Happy Monday. Welcome back to Display TV. I'm your host, Sarah Bravis, coming to you live from New York City. I missed you, friends. How are we doing? Hello, Jenny girl. Yes, I hope everyone had such an enjoyable weekend. Did we rest? Did we work? What were our plans? Tell me in the chat. Let me know. What did you do? Did you hang with family? Did you see friends? Did you eat a fantastic brunch? Did you catch up on television? Did you cuddle with your kitty? Take your dog for a walk? What did we do this weekend with all the extra time you weren't spending with me? I'll tell you what I did. I went to brunch with my family and my boyfriend. I did cuddle with my cat. You caught me. I took a nice long walk outside. It was a nice weekend. I made sure I got some mental health space. Thank you, Lang Louie. I appreciate that. Friends, tell me, what were the weekend plans? Fill me in. What's the, what are the deets from the weekend? <gasps> Mark Foot, Mardi Gras, New Orleans. That's crazy. Speaking of which, we definitely have some more themed trivia games coming up and Mardi Gras might be one of them because tomorrow, it's Fat Tuesday, so yes, be on the lookout for that tomorrow. There's a special themed game coming right at you. What else What else did we do? What did, what did everybody do this weekend? Did we eat? Did we sleep? Did we have quality time with loved ones? We're, we're coming in slowly, we're trickling in, we're just catching up, friends. It's been two whole days. I have missed you. I need to know what everybody's been doing. I'm a nosy Nelly, what can I say? Mark says I might not be able to hear over the parades and Bourbon Street. That's fair. But Mark, you're not the only one in this chat. Shabza, thank you for chiming in. I appreciate that. You spent the whole weekend fishing. Did you catch anything? And if so, what did you catch? How big was it? I don't know if I've ever caught a fish. I've mostly done, I've done some crabbing, but I've never really been fishing, maybe like once in my life. So that seems pretty cool. You gotta post a picture to display. If you caught a fish, or maybe you, even if you didn't, I still want to see what it looks like to go fishing. That sounds really fun. Hey, Kathy Davis, it's so good to see you. All right, everyone. I'm so happy that we're all back here. It makes me, it really makes me happy. Andrew said, I went to drink out. Love that. Yes, got out of the house. Good for you. We didn't stare at a screen all weekend. Excellent work. All right, friends. Well, we're back. We're back in business. And by that, I mean, we're chilling. We're talking about how to earn money on display. I'm gonna talk about the display case tonight, how you can set up your own store, probably show off some of your stores, some of your display cases. Of course, we're gonna give away a trivia answer and we're gonna show off some original content. Does that sound okay? Does that sound okay to you? Well, too bad. If it doesn't, then you can <laughs> see yourself at the door, but I really hope you stay because I would like your company. All right. Let's kick things off with a little bit of a poll, shall we? I wanna know, how are you feeling today? That's very easy. We're gonna kick things off really nice and light. You don't have to think too hard. How are you feeling today? High fives all around? Is it five o'clock yet? Just five more minutes. Which one best describes the way that you're feeling today? Um, I am gonna go with, is it five o'clock yet? And it is, you know what? It's 7.30 here in New York City. My five o'clock to me means I'm like about, I'm, I'm, I've just gotten to the studio, I'm heading to the studio, that's my five o'clock looks like, I'm heading to the studio, I'm coming to spend some time with all my friends here at Display. Uh, so yeah, I like looking forward to five o'clock. Let's see, we got 57% saying high fives all around, love that vibe, 29% of you are saying is it five o'clock yet? And maybe your five o'clock doesn't look like my five o'clock, I don't know. And 11% of you are saying, just five more minutes in bed. Oh, you know, I'm not very good at sleeping in. I'm, it is not something that I excel at. I would say I'm actually better at not sleeping <laughs> than I am sleeping. I, I might try to lay in bed a little longer, but like for me, I can, I can never go back to sleep. Once I'm up, I'm up. And I'll tell you what, my kitty wakes me up. She wakes me up, she's meowing, she wants her food, and then I'm stuck, I'm kind of awake. Welcome everyone, so glad you're here. I see we have a lot of new folks, if you want. Introduce yourselves in the chat. Tell me where you're from. Tell me if it's your first time here. That way I know sort of what spiel to give you. But essentially, this show is here to help you. I'm here to answer any questions that you might have about display, help you earn that extra money on this app. And then we got trivia coming up in about 30 minutes, right, right here. You stay right in this stream. We're playing for 500 bucks. Trivia, you answer 10 questions. And I'm actually gonna go give away one of the answers in just a little bit within this stream too. So if you stick around, you get an extra answer and then you only have to answer nine questions. Plus, I'm showing off some content. 
So if you've been posting, like I saw somebody in here said they spent the weekend, Shabza, they were posting, oh, you did post the pictures. You posted the fishing pictures. I'm gonna go check them out and maybe I'll show them on here tomorrow. So don't you worry. I appreciate you, Shabza, thank you for that. Um, all right, we got Spencer, one, two, three, four. Long Island, New York, now in Jamaica. What's up? We're, our studio is in New York. Are you on vacation in Jamaica? I am so jealous. All right, friends, let's talk about it. How to make money on display, how to earn that money on display. So just like Shabza was saying, you gotta be posting. That's, that's pretty much how you make the money. So if you are posting your photos, your videos, as we've gone over on the show, you can even just post your words. You can literally just tap text and type in something like happy Monday and send that out if you have no photos or videos that you wanna post. But you have gotta be posting something, okay? And if you post that content and it starts circulating in other people's feeds, they're scrolling through their timelines, your picture or your video or your text pops up, you're earning money. How? Because every three posts, there's an ad. The money from that ad goes 50% to display and 50% to the creators whose posts appear above that ad. So the more your stuff is circulating, which means consistency, right? Get your stuff up there more frequently. But it's also gotta be quality because quality encourages people to follow you, to share your content. And the second way to earn money, which would be to support you. So the support me button is actually the second way that you earn on this app. That's a little yellow S. You can see it on the bottom right of this photo here. And it says support me next to it. Now you can't tap this on your own post. You just tap this on other creators posts. So you've got your like button, you got your comment, you got your share. Those are all great ways to tell a creator, Hey, I love your content. Awesome job. But support me is the only one to tell them that you like their content with money. And it's not your money. It's the advertisers pay the money to have their ads there. If you take the time to tap support me and then you watch the ad that is served to you, then that money, that ad money gets converted to dollars for that creator. So you don't have to take out your wallet, it doesn't come out of your display bank. You're literally just watching an ad and you're helping that creator get paid. So tap that support me button on other creators, help them make money. You can also check and see who's been tapping support me on yours so you make sure you say thank you back to those people. Who tapped the support me button sometime today? You know what, I'll give you a broader time. Who did it in the last three days? Sometime over the weekend or sometime today, you tapped the support me button on another creator. Let me know in the chat right now. No, don't lie to me, I know, I can tell. I can see through the screen, I sense those lies. Who actually tapped the support me button on a creator and helped them, shoot, God bless me, and help them earn some extra cash this weekend, okay. Let me know. I think Kathy Davis did. Who else? Thank you, Lauren Killer. I appreciate that. Who else tapped the support me button this weekend? Yeah, I thought so, Kathy. Anybody else? Is Kathy the only one who tapped the support me button in the last three days? There we go. Andrew won. Love it. Jenny girl, been tapping all weekend. Bootlegs, woo. Callie Puppy, thank you so much. I don't need a tissue, Lauren, I'm good, I promise. But thank you for looking out, I appreciate that. Love my display bees. Okay, Kenny Beth's been tapping support me. Newness Wendy's been tapping. You are helping creators get paid. That is so good of you. I hope that pe those creators see the effort that you're putting forth and they're tapping the support me button for you. All right, let's go to the third way that you earn money on this app. And that is by inviting your friends. So to invite your friends, you go to your main menu and then you're gonna tap invite your friends. Pretty self-explanatory, right? But just in case, I'm walking you through it. So this is the way to invite your friends because you generate your own unique link this way. If you just say, hey, come join display, we cannot trace that person to you. So make sure you're copying this link from this menu or sharing the QR code that is also traceable to you. So either copying this link, using the QR code, and sharing it to your social media apps, texting it to your friends, saying, hey, check out display, use this code to download the app. That way, we know that person came from you. And you can actually follow up and see who then did download the app and set up a profile under your code. You can go into your insights and analytics and there's a cool feature called Family Tree and you can see who signed up underneath you. So if somebody's like, yeah, yeah, I did it, you can actually go check and be like, no, you didn't. Or you can be like, yeah, you did it, thanks. Do you need any help? 
Like, let me show you how this app works. Because we had Mark Foote on this show last week, and he was telling us that he walks every single person that he invites on this app through the app so that they understand how to use it, which is incredible. That is like above and beyond welcome wagon material. So thanks, Mark, for setting such a great example. And you know, you can always, if you don't want to deal, deal with your friends, tell them to come tune in. That's what I'm here for, to help everyone learn how to earn money on this app. So make sure you're inviting your friends and you're using your codes. Now, one cool feature that you can actually even tell them about, which you don't necessarily have access to on other apps unless you have like tons of followers, you have to get invited to it, is your display case. So this is really cool. You can literally build a virtual storefront that's linked to your profile. I love this feature. You, you, I mean, like it's, it's a lot of a, you know, it's a business risk to like set up an actual store, but like when you get to like curate your own store that's linked to your profile, how easy and fun. So let's walk you through how you can do this. So basically you go to your profile, right? And you see the little shopping bag to the right where it says edit profiles, to the left of the piggy bank, to the right of edit profile. So you're gonna click on your shopping bag, so aptly named, and then you're gonna type in the name of your store, you can add a cover picture, you can add a description, and then it'll look something like this. Great, this is Sarah's store, this is the photo that I chose to make, um, and then my little description, which is my favorite thing. So how, I clearly I already have some items here, I have like adhesive wallpaper, I have a mic, that I use with my camera, I have some makeup wipes and like a cute little clicker that I use to take pictures of myself. So let's add a new item. Great, we just tapped that green add item button just so you saw that. And then we're gonna type in whatever it is that we're looking for. I'm gonna type in macro lens. And you're gonna see that we have all different choices here. I could scroll through, but I already know which one I want. It's the key wing one on the top right. So we're gonna tap on that one, select it and add it to our store. Bam, you can see now that it's there. This is, a, this is a really fun accessory to play around if you wanna you know, add a little pizzazz to your photos and you're like, I'm, I see the same stuff every day, I don't know what to do differently. A little macro lens kit like this is fantastic. So I definitely recommend this if you just wanna be a little bit more adventurous with your photos. Now let's add another item, a fashion item. Let's click add item, our green little button. We're gonna type in shacket. This is a shirt jacket if you don't know. These keep me comfy all winter and all transitional seasons. Literally everything except for summer, I wear these things. Okay, let's click on the one on the middle left and add that to our store. Voila, look how easy that is. Okay, so a couple things here. All of these items, as it currently stands, you need to be able to buy these, an uh, these animals, these <laughs> items from Amazon. Uh, we will be adding additional merchants and stores, but for now it has to be available on Amazon. Now, another thing I wanna mention is, you're like, okay, I don't, that's cool, I like adding things that I'm excited about, but like, how can this help me business-wise? Well, let's say you have a podcast, let's say you're a musician, um, and those things are available on Amazon. So I had a podcast for a while, it is available on Amazon, it's free, um, so I could actually link my podcast. If I want to, I could type in the name of the podcast and I could link that to my store and then you guys could all listen to it directly. Same with like a musician. If you had an album or an EP that's available, you could do that. Let's say you um, were in a film or a sketch that's on Amazon, you could share that. Let's say you designed a line of t-shirts. You put your graphics or your photos on a t-shirt and you're selling t-shirts on Amazon, you could add that. And I'm gonna show you some examples of people who have done this in just a moment. So think how else, what other types of things could you add that would actually help you in that way? Or you could just curate a, a whole store. Let's say you're a pet influencer, you wanna just link a bunch of pet products, you could also do that. Now, you can share individual items to your feed. So let's say you did add something new, like it's my podcast, let's say, right? And I want you all to listen. I could add that item to my store and then I could share that item as opposed to my feed and say, hey everyone, check out my podcast. That way it would go through anyone that's following me, it would show up in your feed, just like you were scrolling through content as its own post. And you could actually click on in and then listen to my podcast directly, which is really, really cool. Now you can also share the entire storefront, the entire display case as a whole. So you can say, hey, just updated my storefront for Mardi Gras stuff, let's say, right? So. Just uh, Mardi Gras stuff, I, I, go check it out. You can share your entire store and people can go check it out that way. So 
Lots of cool stuff that you can do with this. Um, has anyone set up their storefront? Let me know in the chat if you have your display case set up. And in the meantime, I am going to show you some of our creators here that have set up their storefronts. So let's take a look at some of these display cases. All right, we got this one from Boop Your Nose. It's a bunch of cat stuff, which I love because I'm a cat mama. So we've got a crate for our kitties. We've got cat, a cat dress. We've got a cat clock. We've got all kinds of cat goodies. I love it. Let's move on to our next one. This is from Mark Foot. This is the FN store, the Foot Network store. We've got all kinds of puzzles and stuff. Mark's a really unique guy, so he's constantly adding all kinds of fun, cool gadgets. Next up, we've got Dog Adventures. This is from Kathy Hull. These are actually her own sweatshirts she, and, and t-shirts. She designed these, so she's linked them in addition to some pet products. Next up, we have Heather King. She's linked her gear because she's an incredible photographer from, from Canada. And then she too has some t-shirts that she's designed with her photography. So she's linked those as well, which is really, really cool. And then finally, we've got Pets Place. This one's from Kathy Davis. And she too has searched all kinds of pet products and things for your pets. So if you're a pet lover, you own a pet, definitely check out Kathy Davis's store for inspiration. I don't see anybody saying that they, oh, there we go. Callie Puppy has baby and, and pup stuff. I will have to check out your store. Maybe we can feature it next week. I love that. Anybody else set up their display cases? Let me know, I wanna feature them. In the meantime, if now you're excited about it, I wanna know, what are you gonna put in it? If maybe you haven't done it yet and that's okay, I want you to tell me, what are you most excited to add to your display case? Is it gear equipment, fashion accessories, fitness, wellness, food, drink, or pet supplies? Which of these things are you thinking, oh my gosh, I know exactly what I wanna add, and I'm gonna do it. Okay, I'm gonna do, I need to do a, a new makeover of my storefront for sure. I'm gonna do some spring fashion because I am so ready for it to not be winter here in New York City. So maybe if I send that, if I manifest that into the universe, it'll get warm here faster. We've got 27% of you saying gear equipment. So that's pretty high up there. 28% of you saying food and drink, yum. I love that. I'd love to feature some food and drink stores for sure. So if you do that, let me know in the chat if you're gonna do it, because I wanna check out your profile so I can feature some new stuff in our highlights next week. Friends, thank you. Okay, so we've got a lot to cover still. We've got some original content. We've got trivia coming up in 12 minutes for $500, which means I gotta give you a trivia answer. We'll be right back with that. Hey, I'm Tiki Barber, former University of Virginia student athlete and also former New York Giant running back. I can't tell you how excited I am to announce the partnership between Influencer and Display. So what's Display? Display is social that pays. This revolutionary social media app is changing the game for college athletes and now it's your turn to play. Welcome to the brand new world on social media. Welcome to Display social that pays welcome to display tips let's get introduced to profile tap the profile on bottom right of screen here you can personalize your display experience tap the pencil icon to edit your profile picture cover photo basic user info including contact and link to your other social media accounts select your preferred language identify top friends and family members you can also create and manage your communities here. Watch for more tips on Display TV. What's up, Displayers? If you're here for trivia, you are in the right place. It's kicking off in about 10 minutes for $500. But in the meantime, I'm actually going to give away a trivia answer for you tuning in early and we're gonna go through some original content that's on this app. Because if you don't already know, if you're posting on this app, you actually get paid. You get paid to post. So you don't have to win trivia in order to earn money on this app. You can actually just post some of your own original content and see that cash start to trickle in. But let's kick it off with a trivia answer. This is question eight from tonight's game where we're throwing it back to some Sesame Street. I wanna know of the following, this Sesame Street character is the oldest. Which one? 
Who's the oldest? Is it Elmo, is it Grover, or is it Big Bird? In years, who's the oldest? Who, who has celebrated the most birthdays? Is it Elmo, is it Grover, or is it Big Bird? Let's see who knows this. I, it, I, it's hard for me to think of the Sesame Street characters in terms of ages. And I don't really want to rat out the person that's the oldest. That's not very nice, right? That's, but I, I have to, you know? I have to. I have to give you the correct answer. As of now, it's looking like we've got 35% of you saying, it's pretty evenly split, actually. We've got 35% of you saying, 36% of you saying Grover, 33% of you saying Big Bird, and 30% of you saying Elmo. Ooh, it's a pretty even split. I don't know if I've ever seen it split in thirds like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that it's the character who shares the color with what I'm wearing. We're talking Big Bird here. Big Bird is the oldest. Big Bird is six, uh, Elmo is three and a half, and Grover is four. How cute. They're all still very young. They should not be ashamed of those ages. Yes, how have they stayed so young? Who's to say? I guess if you're a puppet, you don't grow bigger. Did I just ruin? something for you, I'm so sorry. But yes, Big Bird is your answer. Big Bird is six, Elmo is three and a half, and Grover is four. If you knew that, let me know in the comments how you knew that. Do you just watch a lot of Sesame Street? I don't even know if they talk about their ages on Sesame Street. Is that something that they do? Probably not. Nobody, who got it right? Let me know in the chat. Who did not need my help tonight? All right, well, in the meantime, I've got some original content that I wanna feature, because people have been posting all weekend, have been posting today. It's looking great. Let's kick off some content for now. Okay, we've got Deborah Barca, who says, the person I can count on 100% is basically me. And I think this is a good mentality to take into trivia, right? If your gut is telling you to choose an answer, choose an answer. Do not listen to your mom across the room who's saying, honey, that's not right, it's the... No, you trust yourself. Deborah knows what's up. Okay, next up, we've got Sean C, an amazing volleyball ad for my trip to LA. Inspiration for my youngest, who is captain of the Staples volleyball team. So cool. Look at that. That is one strong athlete right there. I love it. Okay. Next, we've got Kayla Horton. Speaking of strong athletes, she is a Southern Utah University gymnast. Finishing up a competition here. Looking incredible. That is an amazing photo, Kayla. I love it. Okay, then we've got Kevin Hinkle bringing a little cuteness to your day. This is Rosie, who's opened her eyes for the first time. We showed you Rosie a couple weeks back. If you want to see more of Rosie, go check out Kevin Hinkle's profile. So sweet. Okay. Next up, we've got M. Ladani. This is Maya. She is a professional football player. Soccer in the US, depending on where you are. But yeah, we got a pro here. Lots of athletes today. Monday motivation, am I right? Then we've got Mark Foote. He already told us he's tuning in from New Orleans, and this is his sky right now from New Orleans. It's a great hashtag, my sky right now. Use it, snap a picture of your sky and put it up on display. Then we've got Toto Caro. This is St. Mary's Church. This is in the UK. Some gorgeous architecture, pretty blue skies, very green grass. I love it. And then we've got 33MTN who says, good morning display friends. Garfield says hi. That looks like a Garfield, right? It looks like just like a Garfield to me. Perfectly named. And then we have Razvan B. Missing you, Santorini. Hashtag Greece. Hashtag display travel, love the use of hashtags here. And oh my gosh, just take me on vacation. That drink looks delightful. The horizon looks even better. I can see why you wanna go back, Razvan. I wanna go and I haven't even been there. And finally, we've got Robert Boudwin. He said, this is how I brought my twin five-year-old daughters to Taekwondo class today. So cute, look at his shirt. That is a dad joke if I've ever seen one. Spar Wars, adorable. Love that these little ones are in Taekwondo. Robert Boudwin has the best dad content. So if you wanna see more of his two little girls, definitely go check them out on display. Friends, if you're like, why are you showing pictures? What does this have to do with trivia? In case you don't know, First of all, you need to be posting to actually be able to collect your display trivia winnings, but also you get paid to post. 
So if you're posting on display, you're earning extra cash, you don't have to answer all 10 trivia questions correctly. But trivia is starting in five minutes. We've got $500 to give away. I'll see you there.
Hello everybody and welcome to an all new round of Display Trivia. I'm your host, Sarah Brebus, and friends, let me ask, how's your Monday going? I mean, I know, I know, Mondays can be a bit of a downer. Mondays can feel like the weekday equivalent of the ice cream scoop that falls right off the cone the minute you get out of the shop. Hey, you know what, at least it landed on the sidewalk and not on your khaki pants. That's what I call looking on the bright side. Please note, uh, never look directly into the bright side. It can cause corneal damage. But things are brightening up around here because friends, we're wrapping up February and we're heading into March. And statistically speaking, March is one, when spring gets sprung, and two, it's the only month that's also an active verb. Like what's not to love? There's nothing not to love. And there's nothing that's gonna get in the way of you snagging a victory tonight. So let's go over some ground rules. You'll have 10 seconds to answer each of the following 10 questions. They'll get harder as we go, but if you get one wrong, you can keep playing, just not for the money. Make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi and that you're holding your phone vertically. Oh, and choose carefully because once you tap, there's no going back. And I know we're all a little tired on Monday, so just to make sure that you got all of that, let's have a quick practice question. Yes, to get those fingers warmed up. Shall we, okay? For no points, tell me, would you rather Turn over a new leaf, turn over the evidence, fresh apple turnovers. Oh, where? Yum. <gasps> you know what they say, the more turning, the more burning. Calories, of course. Does that even make sense? No, if you're eating apple turnovers, there is no less burning of calories. But you know what? It's Monday. 28% of you are with me on those fresh apple turnovers. I appreciate you. Let's wrap this Monday up with some winning, shall we? Get ready, get set, it's time for display trivia. Question one. The control center of the human body is located where? The brain, the right foot, the TV remote. The control center of the human body is located where? The brain, the right foot, the TV remote. I should be honest about this and say that a lot of the time my body's control center is located in my stomach. Oh, I can be convinced to do almost anything for food. The other time where this doesn't apply is when the DJ plays my song. I mean, I lose all control. I am like Missy Elliott and that music makes me lose control. I mean, one time I just got so wrapped up in the dancing at a wedding, I came to a couple of days later after everyone had left. I mean, I completely missed brunch the next morning and the honeymoon send off. Fortunately though, I danced for so long that I stayed in the ballroom for three more weddings. What a time, what a time. The control center of the body is located for most of us, most of the time in the brain. 97% of you got that using your brains to get to Q2. A kitchen funnel is what three dimensional shape Cone, cylinder, sphere. A kitchen funnel is what three dimensional shape? Cone, cylinder, sphere. Remember this kids, you can't spell fun without funnel. Oh no, wait, I messed that up. I meant to say you can't spell funnel without fun. Okay, well, I mean, you know what? I guess it's time for me to just admit that I can't spell. I mean, I can read fine. It's just when the words aren't already there, all bets are off. It's, it's like bowling for me. You know, when the bumpers are there, I have some guidance. I do great. But take those babies away, it is gutter ball after gutter ball. My nickname growing up was Zippy. The moral of the story is use bumpers if you need them and have spell check installed on your computer. The shape of a funnel is closest to a cone. 92% of you got that. Question three. All of the following professionals wear robes on the job except choir singer, judges, scuba divers. All of the following professionals wear robes on the job except choir singer, judges, scuba divers. Ah, oh, imagine being able to wear a robe on the job. I don't care what, what the profession is. Let me do it, let me do it. These people have been working in pajamas since way before quarantine. Oh wait, they get to wear a robe but they have to read legal textbooks and listen to people talk about why they disagree with the rules? N no, I, I would rather wear my stilettos and high-waisted vacuum sealed denim over that, thank you very much, yeah. You know, maybe wearing a robe to work isn't all it's cracked up to be. But choir singers and judges know that it comes with the territory. Scuba diving, <laughs> now that's something you go into for the clothes. 87% of you got that. Question four. 
Which is not a Johnny Depp film character? Jack Sparrow, Edward Scissorhands, Maverick. Which is not a Johnny Depp film character? Jack Sparrow, Edward Scissorhands, Maverick. Johnny Depp is such a good actor. And you know how you can tell someone is a good actor? They just blend into the role. Kind of like I did when I played tree number three in my high school's production of Into the Woods. Let's be clear, there were no students playing tree one or tree two. Those were literally just plywood cutouts. Um, this director just really didn't want me to be in the play. Like tried to scare me off by giving me a bad part. But joke's on you, Mrs. McAfee, because there are no small parts, just small actors. And boy, did I feel small after having to stand on stage for two hours with no lines. Yeah. That jerk of a teacher even added a whole new musical number just to insult tree number three. And as the tree, I just had to stand there and take it. Honestly, if it hadn't been for my own embarrassment, a really beautiful addition to the play, really something. Johnny Depp is known for his roles as Captain Jack Sparrow and Edward Scissorhands. The actor who plays Maverick in Top Gun is Tom Cruise. 93% of you got that. Question five. Select the closest translation of the phrase bonafide. This for that, good faith per person. Select the closest translation of the phrase bonafide. This for that, good faith per person. I cannot stress this enough. It's important to know your Latin phrases to sprinkle into your vocabulary here and there. Oh, no, not because it's important to know Latin. No, 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 no. It's nice to try to convince your friends that you're smarter than you actually are. And Latin is hard, I get it. So if you can't get a grasp on that, maybe start with Pig Latin and work your way up. Pig Latin might not make you sound as smart, but it will keep the haters at bay. Mostly because they'll be so annoyed with the way you're talking. Bonafide is Latin for good faith. And if you got it, you are the real deal. 90% of you are the real deal. Halfway there, question six. Jane Goodall is known for her work with an animal with which characteristic? They're the largest primate. They're the closest human relative. The males have an elongated nose. Jane Goodall is known for her work with an animal with which characteristic? They're the largest primate. They're the closest human relative. The males have an elongated nose. Now, I always take note of interesting characteristics because you never know when you're going to have the police department track you down and have you describe the perpetrator for a composite sketch. Just be really careful when you do this to make sure you're not describing yourself. Oh, no, not because he'll be falsely convicted of a crime, but because that thing will show you your true colors. Are my eyes really that asymmetrical? Sheesh, all right, maybe I do need some work done after all. Good to know. Uh, I'll have plenty of time to work on stuff where I'm going. The largest primate is the silverback gorilla. A proboscis monkey is known for its salient schnoz. But the chimpanzee, as well as the bonobo, is the closest living relative to human beings, sharing 97% of our DNA and the subject of Jane Goodall's work. 84% of you got that, closest human relative. Question seven. Which Russian ruler is correctly matched with their common descriptor? Alexander the Great, Catherine the Terrible, Nicholas II. Which Russian ruler is correctly matched with their common descriptor? Alexander the Great, Catherine the Terrible, Nicholas II. Royal descriptors are basically the historical version of senior superlatives. Oh my God, Ivan the Terrible, will you sign my yearbook? Oh, so cool that you were voted most likely to behead all your political enemies. Well, anyway, Hags, I'll see you next year. <laughs> Also, think these names get used to because, I think these names get used because monarchs are so uncreative in their naming, you know? Like, wow, we get it, you're all named Peter. So, do you want a cookie or something? Sheesh. Okay, look, call any of these royals what you want, but do know that Alexander the Great is an ancient Greek figure. And Catherine the Terrible, well, that's just the girl in high school who told everyone that I had a crush on Jimmy Masterson, which I so did not. Why did he say he likes me? Question eight. Of the following, this Sesame Street character is the oldest, Elmo, Grover, Big Bird. Of the following, this Sesame Street character is the oldest, Elmo, Grover, Big Bird. Yes, this is canon. All the Sesame Street characters have ages that they have been since the show aired over 50 years ago. Oscar the Grouch is no spring chicken at 43. But honestly, all that anger has probably aged him. Like, get out of your can sometime, Oscar. See the world. Life is just beginning at 43. 
The count, by the way, is somewhere over 1 million years old. I mean, either he has an amazing 10-step skincare routine or he just started counting and forgot to stop. I think the latter. But of the characters listed, Elmo clocks in at the youngest of three and a half years. Grover's starting to outgrow his jumperoo at four, but the most mature of these Muppets is Big Bird, who's a whopping six and a half years old. 90% of you got that. Question nine. Which of the following is not a true spice? Ginger, mint, saffron. Which of the following is not a true spice? Ginger, mint, saffron. I know what you're thinking. None of these are true spices. The true spices are scary spice, sporty spice, baby spice, ginger spice, and posh spice. But hear me out. Have you ever put sporty spice on an uncooked chicken? It's not great. One of these choices isn't technically a spice, but an herb because it comes from the leaf. And that's not what you want, what you really, really want. Oh, no, no, no. If you want to be a spice, you have to come from other parts of the plant. And if you want to be a lover, well, you're going to have to get with my friends. And mint is not one of them. 87% of you got that. Now, you want to get onto Q10? But me, well, I want to zig a zig. Uh, all right, that's going to be in my head for the rest of tonight, but it's time for the final question. Question 10. An armager is someone in possession of an item that can contain all of the following elements except Perlin, Escutcheon, Mansling. An armager is someone in possession of an item that can contain all of the following elements except Perlin, Escutcheon, Mansling. Uh, okay, but do his parents know he brought this to school? Um, Ma'am, excuse me, your son Armager? Yes, are you aware he came to class today with an escutcheon in his pocket? Well, we have to report these things, Mrs. Howard. I mean, well, I know every family allows different toys at home, but here at Princeton Elementary, anything involving heraldic crafts during school hours is strictly forbidden. You don't allow sugar at your house. Don't bring coat of arms to school. That's right. An armager is someone who has the authority to bear a crest, which can contain elements like an escutcheon and a mantling in the design. But a purling? That's a structural part of a roof. So, not it. 77% of you got that last question. Woo-hoo! How'd we do? Is there anyone waving their banner high today as they display their coat of arms? You came, you slay, you displayed your knowledge, and you're getting paid. Woo! Friends! That is the way to start a Monday, right? Kicking it off with a win, a little extra cash in your pocket. Also, if you need a little extra help, you know that you can always tune into my pre-show. It's 30 minutes before the start of trivia, I give away a trivia answer. So everyone who came tonight, they got the answer to question eight in advance. 500 bucks split between 326 winners. Only I wow, got a six out of 10. Oh, Bubble Bass, happy birthday, 7 out of 10. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. Yay, Fax Guru won. Who else? Love it. Bravo, everyone. Andrew won, got a 6 out of 10, but always happy to play trivia. That is the attitude that I love. Jat Budana got a 9 out of 10. Chris Hell's Creations got an 8 out of 10. Real 22 won. Nikki D got an 8 out of 10. Sheena got a 9. SJDP got a seven. Gummy Nuggets got an eight. Saxena just joined. <laughs> Hi, Saxena. Oh no, study got a 10. Bravo, bravo everyone. Sheena's so close. Really proud of all of you guys. We, we do it all again tomorrow. Every single weeknight we do this. So come to the pre-show, come get your answer. We all get to hang out. I teach you how to earn money on display. And I'll see you tomorrow for trivia. Bye-bye. <laughs>